So guys, the end of May, beginning of June, guess how many paychecks we got for May? We got nine paychecks from my Robinhood dividend portfolio. <laughs> and man, it's another good month. And I'm actually gonna take you guys toward the end of this video into my dividend spreadsheet, my tracker, and I'm gonna uh, apply how much I got paid this month to my little graph here. But uh, you guys check it out. This is the nine paychecks I received from my Robinhood dividend portfolio for the month of May. So guys, before we get into it today, I just wanna say we're on the home stretch of 1,000 subs. You see our growth goal board in the back? Um, let's see if we can hit a thousand subs by the end of june i know we could do it you guys have been showing me so much love since i don't know since the beginning of this channel but here lately you guys have been really pushing me out there so what i want to do right now is if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet go ahead and click that little red subscribe button to join this family we've got going on here guys also Click that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm and just to put a smile on my face because every time I see that thumbs up go up, it makes me happy, at least just a little bit. <laughs> but uh, another thing is if you want your free stock from Robinhood and you haven't signed up using Robinhood yet, go and check out the link in the top pinned comment. Click that link, fill it out. Um, it is absolutely free you'll get a free stock and i'll get a free stock as well as when you sign up using that link um you don't even have to put no bank information in there uh and you you'll be a leg up if you're ready to start investing using Robinhood. so real quick i just want to look at the portfolio so over the past month um i'm sorry over the past month i shot up 6.63 percent which is a little over 300 dollars. so at the peak of this past month we were a little over $5,000, which is pretty good. And as you guys know, my goal for the end of this year is to get this portfolio to $10,000. And I definitely think we're gonna hit it because we just hit the sixth month of June. And um, as you guys know, once I'm done paying off a small loan I have to help build my credit, which I'm, I'll be done in like the next week or so, I'll be adding probably two to three times more money into this account. Um, so we can hit our goal. So stay tuned to see <laughs> what's really going on with this. And I'm gonna make a video soon on credit once I pay off that loan or whatever. So uh, yeah, keep, stay tuned for that too. Anyway guys, over the past week, we're down a little bit. And over the past day, we were down a little bit. Past three months, we're still down. Past year, we're still down, but we're not <laughs> as down as we was over, we were down over a thousand dollars, about 20%, 24%, something like that. So. We'll be, we, we, we good. Just going over the portfolio here, we have um, Apple's in the green, Pfizer's in the green, RTX is in the green, which is a new uh, stock, new addition to the portfolio. WPG's in the green, that's because that is a uh, stock I got as a, a free stock for you guys signing up. And also have uh, Intel in the green. I had a, a couple others in the green, but they must have shot back down due to, you know, the fluctuation of the markets or whatever. Anyway, guys, let's go to the dividends that we got for the month of May. Let's go to the dividends. Dividends in the back of a big bins. May 1st, because I own three shares of Verizon Communications, I got paid $1.85, which is roughly 61 point, I'm sorry, point, which is roughly 61 cents. Um, and this was reinvested. I bought uh, 0 0.03 shares with $1.85. So next we have also on May 1st, we have AT&T um, because I own 7.05 shares at 52 cents a share. I got paid $3.67. And as you can see here, I got point, I got paid, uh, reinvested and bought 0.12 uh, percent of a share, I guess you would say 0.12 of a share. Um, next we have AGNC on the 12th. So because I own 14 shares of AGNC, at 12 cents a share, I got paid $1.70, which was reinvested. And I bought 0.137097 of a share. And I'm definitely excited to see over time 
Um, and once I start adding more money into the portfolio, how this dividend reinvestment is going to really help like the snowball effect. Cause you know, it's exponential. It'll be nothing. It'll be very, very little for a little while. And then poof, it'll take off all of a sudden, kind of like my YouTube channel did. <laughs> so yeah. Um, next May 14th, we have Apple. So for owning 1.206181 shares, I got paid 99 cents at the 82 cents a share. So 0.003297 I bought back with uh, the 99 cents, which isn't much, obviously, but uh, it's it helps, I guess, you know, right? So on May 15th, Stag Industrial, phoning seven and a half shares at 12 cents a share, I got paid 90 cents. And I bought with that reinvestment 0.037167 of a share. Um, of Stag Industrial. Also, May 15th, oh, Realty Income um, for only 3.881699 shares uh, at 23.3 cents a share. Um, I got 90 cents, which was 0 0.017169 shares at 52 cents a share. Um, that's what I bought back. So, May 21st, PSEC, Prospect Capital. Only 51 shares, little 51 shares at six cents a share. I got paid three dollars and eight cents. Um, so that is a little over half a share I bought back at four dollars and 89 cents. Starbucks, uh, May 22nd, uh, for only one share of Starbucks, I got paid 41 cents and I bought back 0 0.005151 uh, of a share at 79.60. Uh, and finally. Good old SPHD on May 29th, or yeah, May 30th, May 29th, whatever it may be, um, for owning 20.337385 shares at 15.54 share, I got paid $3.16, and this is going to be reinvested come Monday. Now, let's see some of the um, dividend to have coming for June as as of right now. So Aflac for owning four shares, I'll be getting a dollar eighteen. Intel for owning a little over one share, I'll be getting thirty six cents. For Pfizer, I'll be getting uh, two dollars and thirty cents. And RTX, I'll be getting sixty two cents for like a, a one and thirty uh, for owning one point three zero shares. So yeah guys um so altogether, I got paid nine dividends, which is a total of $16.66. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into the laptop. Real quick, before we even hop out of here, I just wanna show y'all, I did sell Medical Properties Trust. I sold um, seven shares at $18.10 and then the remaining 0.73 at uh, $18.18 .18 as well. So yeah, I removed that one from there and we're gonna remove it from the dividend tracker as well. Okay, guys, so here we are. This is my dividend spreadsheet tracker. We're gonna back up a little bit. So as you can see here, over the past months, we see, you can see I started in um, September of last year. Let me zoom in a little bit. As you can see, I started in September of last year. I made three dollars and one cent. October nineteen, October five dollars and fifteen cents. November five dollars and seventy-seven cents. December of last year sixteen dollars and fourteen cents. January twelve dollars and thirty-three cents. February seven dollars and seventy-five cents. March, which was our biggest month so far, which is nineteen dollars and forty cents, and fourteen dollars and seventy-one cents. Now, as of May. We're going to see here $16.66. Boom. So as you can see, we're starting to hit that uptrend again here. And hopefully it just keeps going and going and going. That's the idea. Anyway, here is my pie for my overall account. Here's my sectors, which I definitely need to come in here and uh, re re redo a bunch of stuff, rename a bunch of things. But so check it out since we no longer have MPW, we're gonna remove it from here. 
But what we will do is we will add RTX. Raytheon Tech Nala G's. So what sector would this be considered? I'm actually not sure at the moment. Space, I know. But uh, anyway, so let's say 3.270636. So my average price is 59.33, which is bringing me in the green about 8%. I'm actually up a little bit more than that, but it is okay. And the dividend yield is two dollars and two point nine four five percent. And the annual dividend yield is one dollar and ninety cents. That is basically what we got going on here. And I do have to add other things here. As you can see, I do own more Apple, more of Intel, which I will do after this video actually. So um but yeah guys this is my dividend tracker spreadsheet if you want a copy of this go ahead and uh, shoot me a dm on instagram or email me if you have my email and uh or if not then go in the description and there should be a link in the description um and you should be able to email me from there but yeah guys as you can see here this is how i like to keep track of my dividends at least for my robin hood dividend portfolio but let's get out of this bad boy here. So guys, that was all the money, all the paychecks I got from my Robinhood monthly dividend portfolio for the month of May. I can't wait to see what next month brings and I can't wait to see us hitting over a thousand subs by the end of this month. So if you guys wanna help me reach that goal, share this with a friend or if you're not subscribed yet, click that red subscribe button, turn it gray and smash that thumbs up button to know that you really enjoyed this video, to let me know you really enjoyed this video, guys. So um, thank you so much for all the love you've been putting out there. Y'all stay safe out there. Anyway, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. Y'all stay safe out there, guys. Have a great day.